Welcome amigos, my name is CM De La Vega, motion graphic artist for the NFL and ESPN. I also have a YouTube channel under CM De La Vega. Through this five part tutorial series, Learn From The Pros, I'll walk you through step by step on how to create awesome effects you can use to enhance your dance, your sports, and your music videos. And remember that life is truly a gift, make it count. In this video, we'll cover how to use After Effects Roto Brush tool to cut out any object from your video. This will help us throughout the series as we will place several effects between the dancer and the background. Amigos, click on the link in the description to go to Pexels. And this is the video clip that we'll be using throughout this tutorial series. Shout out to Cotton Bro for making this free to use. Head over to free download. We'll be using the full HD version and click on free download to save to your computer. Let's go to this button, new composition from footage, click on it and let's locate the video that we downloaded from Pexels and let's import it. Let's rename the composition to video FX. And down in the timeline, notice that it's a pretty long clip. It's a little over 30 seconds. What we'll do instead is we'll trim this shot. Let's jump to 10 seconds and hit the letter B for Bravo to set the in point of our work area. And let's jump to 18 seconds and hit the letter N for November to set the out point of the work area. Right click and go to trim comp to work area. Throughout this tutorial series, we'll add several effects, but before we can add any effect, we need to separate the dancer from the background. And to do so, we'll use After Effects Roto Brush tool. Before we use Roto Brush, let's go to the fast preview, make sure that you have it in final quality, and let's go to the resolution and make sure that you're in full resolution. The latest version of After Effects starting with 2021 introduces a redesigned composition toolbar. Let's quickly do a recap of the dropdown boxes and the new buttons. The resolution dropdown has changed location and here you can switch between different resolutions. The icon next to it is your fast previews. Adobe introduced a new feature and button called Draft 3D which is a real-time 3D render engine to speed up your workflow and RAM previews. Once you activate Draft 3D, you can turn on the 3D ground plane to help you composite your layers. And finally, this dropdown allows you to quickly change your render engine between Classic 3D and Cinema 4D. Let's go to our timeline and let's double click on the layer to open in the layer window. You can see that it says layer followed by the name of your layer. Now let's go to the rotor brush tool. Let's click on it. And we have this circle. If you hold on to control or command and drag, we can increase or decrease the size of our brush. Now what we want to do is simply let's draw a line on our dancer like this. And After Effects automatically is going to try its best to recognize the dancer. Go to the effect controls window. And for the rotor brush, go to quality and switch it to best to get the best edges. Let's make this window bigger. And now what we want to do is add or subtract to our initial selection. Let's add this section and let's make the brush smaller. Let's add the bottom of the shoe. Let's add this bottom of the shoe. If you want to subtract from the selection, Hold on to Alt or Option and you get this red circle. Let's make it bigger so you can see it. Alt or Option and you get this red circle with a minus and this is to subtract from your selection. Once you have your initial selection, we need to propagate forward. You can allow After Effects to automatically calculate all the edges for you by hitting spacebar or play. But what I like to do instead, amigos, is to go frame by frame and just make sure that we have the right selection. Hit page down to go to the very next frame. And let's make sure that our selection is what we want. Everything is good so far. You can see that After Effects is doing an amazing job of selecting the dancer. So far, so good. Let's keep going. 
Now in this frame, let's add this bottom portion of the shoe and let's subtract this portion. So let's make the brush smaller, hold down to alt or option and let's select this area. Let's draw this area and let's keep going forward. And let's add this section of the shoe. What I'm going to do is I'll fast forward since it'll take about five, 10 minutes, but just sit back, relax and watch. Once we're done, we need to lock and cache all the edges. And to do that, let's go to the freeze and After Effects is going to go frame by frame. It's going to freeze all the edges and put it in cache. And remember to save your After Effects project and let's continue. The last step is to fine tune our roto layer and let's use a couple helpful guides to help us along the way. Right now, we're in the alpha boundary view if we jump to the first one, toggle alpha, we can see the black and white mat. And if we jump to the last one, alpha overlay, we see our roto layer over a background color. We can change that color and we can also change the opacity. Now let's go back to the black and white mat and let's zoom in control plus or the period to zoom in and let's fine tune the edges of our mat. Go to rotor brush. Let's go to feather and let's increase the feather. And notice as we increase the feather, we're smoothing out and rounding the edges of our mat. Let's give it a value of seven. And for contrast, if we dial it down to zero, it's very soft. And if we go all the way to 100%, it's jagged. So let's go somewhere in between. Let's start at 50. It looks a little soft, so let's bump it up to 60%. Let's keep increasing this value. Let's go to 70 and 70 looks like a good number. Now shift edge allows you to expand the edges of the mat or to shrink it. In this case, let's shrink it by minus 15%. And the last one is reduce chatter, which will reduce any noise crawl that you might have on the edges of your mat. There isn't much on this one, so let's keep it relatively low. Let's keep it at 10%. If your video contains any motion blur, definitely check this option, use motion blur. I recommend viewing your roto on a solid layer to evaluate the edges as you tweak the parameters in the refined map. Let's go back to the composition window and let's toggle the transparency grid and we have our dancer on a transparent background. Let's check it out. Perfect. What we'll do is let's rename this layer to rotor brush. And let's make a copy control D or command D to make a copy. And the second copy, let's place it beneath and let's rename it to footage. And what we'll do is this one will be our original footage. So let's go ahead and delete the rotor brush effect and let's solo this. This is the original footage and the layer above will be our roto layer. And we're ready to add some cool effects, some glow effects in the next several tutorials. So check them out.